Jason Gordon that time. An extremely difficult angle. Bradley, a corner three for Avery Bradley, not known as a great shooter. Defense. Miami wanted a goaltending. They felt that ball was touched after it hit the glass. Rondo pulls up from 16 feet, and Boston takes the lead. You got to pay attention. Boy, defense 101 right there from Avery Bradley. Nice. Look Here's the trailer. That's what I love about Rondo. They had the four on three again in transition. See, this is why they're different now since the All-Star break. With Bradley in there, they're, they're getting that three on two, four on three already in this game. Chalmers with a switch has Pierce on him. Steamsma ends up kicking the ball, so it will stay with Miami as they put the shot clock back to 14. Now keep an eye on Rondo to the left of your screen. There it is right there. Paul Pierce is running as your trailer. And in this game, both teams in transition, the trailer is a very important guy because both teams have people who can finish. Subs foot cross court bounce pass by LeBron. Winds up putting up a shot at the end of the shot clock. It looked like bocce ball. Rondo's <laughs> in New York. Oh, Rondo had a layup. Instead, he'll take the assist on the three. Hey, stop questioning Rondo. He just yelled over here. Tell that guy Schultz is quiet down over there. Three's better than two, right? There you go. And the rebound down to Bass. I thought that was a shot clock there. Rondo steams up. Got it. Oh. Hey, he's opening up tonight, okay? We've been blowing smoke out. He's lost a lot of his minutes recently to uh, rookie Terrell Harris. With Cole getting the first assignment off the bench tonight. Rondo with a three. Well, I tell you, Doc Rivers could not have scripted this game better. This looks like one of those pro football games in the first quarter. They do come back. They're 24 and 3 at home. This is the last game of a five game homestand. They were beaten by Memphis here. Double figure loss on Friday night, but one of only three losses here in this building this year. Pierce for three. Now they're doing all of this without Paul being on fire. And we know that sometimes Bradley. Rondo, Bradley, and Ray Allen all in the game at the same time as Rodley, uh, Rondo rather makes another jumper. Rajon Rondo, three for four from the field, seven points. He's knocked down a three tonight as well. Looked like he lost the handle on the way up. Two on two. Let's see what they do here with the trailer. Pierce is one of the trailers and hits the three. How about the decision? He could have given that ball off the bass because he had a three. Came in with high energy here tonight and more than anything, just great execution of the offensive end. And there's another example right there. That was some pass, okay? He threw that one, like I always say, through the keyhole. <laughs> because Paul Pierce play the power game first. It will open up the three-point game. Don't play the three-point game first and allow them out in the open floor. Rondo, and that'll snap a 7-0 Miami run. Rondo's got to open up. He and Bradley have got to have a good solid second half here and get some easy baskets for them. Chalmers sees some space, switches hands and lays it in. Chalmers' game has improved dramatically from the offensive end of the floor. The shooting percentage and then the three-point shoot. Rondo to Garnett. Rondo the jumper. And he's been making them tonight, Hubie. Yes, Rondo's now 5 of 6 from the floor, and most of those are jumpers. Brown with 23, Miami back within 7. Boston's led by as many as 18. Nice look. Steams Buck. Hits another jumper. Uh, you better play this guy, right? I mean, Miller is on Rondo. Battier is on Pierce. Steams Buck finishes. See, that's what you love. They're going to switch. They're going to play that smile and switch. We're going right to the front of the rim. Bass will wind up with the open jumper. Another assist for Rondo. As this game is war on, you keep 20 years ago. One of my all-time favorites oh, sure. to watch play. Rondo again. Oh, boy. The mid-range game. Is he giving it to us tonight? He's just played a spectacular game up until this point. A huge night for Rondo, but maybe winning best supporting actor here tonight, Greg Steamsma. What a job that he has done off the bench for the Celtics. Ray Allen open and buried.
26. Now let me tell you, that was a beautiful play. That was a beautiful play. They bring, they bring Ray Allen up off of the double, and they screen off, and they caught, they caught his man go under. When I watch what I watch Ray Allen, you see, they go under the screen. No, no, you cannot do that with Ray Allen. Wade is on Ray Allen. Boy, too easy. Too easy right there for Kevin Garnett, who's been making those all night long. Yeah, and you know what? Boston Celtics, but now Rajon Rondo, more than anybody else, controls the game for Boston. Well, tonight he's been spectacular with Pierce as the trailer. And you can see that is his second three as the trailer. And now just watch this. A bump, I have you coming down. Another three. Three times he's hit him. And here, why don't I give Kevin Garnett the same treatment? He's only 10 for 13 tonight. <laughs> Rondo with 14 